Welcome back. It's October and we have some book recommendations for you for this month. Joining us now is Barbara Shatera from Fletcher Free Library. Thanks so much for being here. Great to be with you. All right. So there's a festival coming up next month that people might want to read some of your picks in preparation for. What is the festival? It's the Nonfiction Comic Festival. It is the only general nonfiction comic festival in the country. It's a, in a very popular uh, festival. And what a nonfiction comic is, is a way of telling um, uh, stories uh, that are non-fictional, such as memoirs, uh, biographies, historical um, works uh, in a graphic format. What is the first pick you have for this? Um, our first one is by Tilly Walden. It's called Spinning. And Tilly is, uh, is Vermont's comic laureate through 2026. Um, she's a very talented writer. She's got a number of works out. Um, this is one of her early pieces that she did, and it's a graphic memoir of the time that she spent as a, as a competitive figure skater. It kind of chronicles what it's like to be a figure skater, you know, just, you know, that sort of inside look about what that, that world is like, um, and also the backstory of her coming um, into her own and deciding what she really wants to do for her life, sort of navigating the the tra you know the traumas and tribulations of of uh, being a teen and a tween. And what is the next pick you have for us? The next pick is called. Uh, Hidden Systems, and it's by Dan Knott, the illustrator for the um, topic that we're doing. Uh, I mean, the the uh, poster that we're using for the for the event. A very well established nonfiction writer. He's writing about those systems that sort of buttress our lives, you know, that we don't think much about until something goes wrong. You know, for example, the internet or the power grid. Um, or our water systems. And he takes these really difficult subject areas and breaks them down so that you can understand them in a much greater detail, but also understand how all of that sort of interconnected. Graphic uh, works are really terrific for taking concepts that might be a little difficult to, um, to grasp in written form and really be able to use both both sides of your brain essentially understand these really um, complex systems. And what's the third pick you have for us for this? It's called Turner Family Stories. Um, this was put together with Vermont Folk Life Center. This book, Turner Family Stories, follows about 200 years of the life of the Turner family. Uh, Daisy Turner was featured in Ken Burns's uh, Civil War series, and it's about her family, and each uh, of the illustrators tells a story about one aspect of her family. Her father escaped slavery and eventually moved to Vermont, um, and she was born in Grafton in 1883. And in 1983, Jane Beck, who was one of the founders of Vermont Folk Life, met with her and eventually recorded about 60 different interviews with her about her family life. And uh, Merrick Bennett is one of the speakers. Uh, he'll be doing a workshop on Sunday, November 19th. Uh, he's one of the illustrators, one of um, five different illustrators. It's a very interesting look at the history of slavery and the history of uh, living in New England as a black person in the early part of the 20th century. And you have one bonus book for us this month. What is it? It's called Messy Roots. It's a graphic memoir by Laura Gao. She is sort of like Tilly grew up in Texas, but moved there um, from Wuhan, China. And uh, when she was four, and it's, again, it's a coming of age story of a young woman trying to find her place as a new, completely different culture than what she grew up in. It's it's funny, it's really beautifully uh, illustrated. It's, um, it's a very interesting look at life for Asian Americans, particularly during the COVID era. All sound like interesting picks. Barbara, thank you so much. You're quite welcome.